Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you the reveal of the newest To The Moon release. I'm gonna walk you through all of these exciting new products, starting with two background cling um, designs. This first one is called Loving Sun and Moon, and as always, the background clings are red rubber mounted on a cushy foam. This one in particular is one of those that you can pull apart. So each of the images, even the smaller little stars, can be pulled out, isolated, and stamped as an individual stamp. So if you want to just stamp that smaller sun, you can. Or you can pop it back in and stamp the whole thing like one big background. Gives you a little, uh, you know, mileage. Okay, this next one is called Chevron Pattern. Just a classic chevron pattern. Great for a background. You can do emboss resist or stamp it tone on tone. A lot of different techniques. Moving on to some stamps. This first one is called Be Lovely. And it does have a coordinating die set to go with it. Three cute little girls with a bunch of different sentiments for various occasions. These kind of remind me of paper dolls. If you have a little girl in your life, this one would be great. Or maybe you're just a little girl at heart. Okay, this one is called So Much Love. Great for the upcoming Valentine season. This does have coordinating dies. There's three dies for those larger sentiments in the stamp set. And then the smaller sentiments kind of coordinate with the larger one. I love that big scripty love. Now this one is called All About You. Might be my favorite one because I just really love that classic font. There are coordinating dies to go with this as well. I think this one here will never go out of style. Um, and it can be used anytime. Okay, next one is called Love Garden Greetings. It does have coordinating dies to go with it. So you have this kind of banner of garland hearts. And then you have all these sentiments that have great, they, they cover a lot of ground. Birthday, sending love, thanks, hello, got you covered. And then lastly, we have the beautiful bouquet. This is a larger stamp set, a big, large, and in charge bouquet. It doesn't have a coordinating die to go with it yet, uh, but there are a lot of different sentiments that you can put with it. And then now there is one that I didn't have. This is an older, previously released stamp set. Now we have the coordinating dies, and it is called Far Away Hugs. So this is what it looks like. I love all these different um, types of transportation and then the coordinating dies to go with that as far away hugs. Okay, moving on to some standalone dies. We have peony and leaves, and I die cut every one to show you because you gotta see it to believe it. And this one is very intricate, dainty, gorgeous. Okay, next we have wreath of love. And this one is really pretty too. I think it lends itself great for a little shaker or a little ink blending. Makes a nice window to frame a sentiment right in the middle. Perfect for Valentine's Day as well. We have three of these smaller little heart dies, the stitching heart, the stitching floral heart, and then the dotted heart. And I'll show you all three of these together. Um, they're all like similar size, but a little bit different. So the stitching floral heart right there, and then the stitching heart and the dotted heart. I'm not sure if you can stitch with these. I haven't tried it, but I bet if you had a thin enough needle and a thin enough thread, you might be able to stitch it up. Okay, this one is called You're In Our Thoughts. And you know what I love about this one? You see that tittle on the eye? It's attached to the O. So this is easy peasy to put together onto that shadow backer. And then we have the etched butterfly. Now this is a three part die set. And you can do different colors. You can ink blend, but I'll show you when you fit it together, like so, and then put the little part in the middle. I don't know what that's called, the body part. Um, okay, so you see how it's intricate, all these little details. They don't pop out, they still remain intact, but you get that gorgeous detail. Now here's three um, bird dies, layered birdie, and then we have layered chickadee, and lastly, we have layered owl. Now these, these are so cute. And you can customize them with different colors of cardstock, what have you, but I mean, look at them. I love all the intricate detail and how you can add different colors of cardstock to switch it up. 
really cute trio of birds. Okay, is an owl considered a bird? I think it is. Okay, this one's called Stylized Heart. So this one, you get a stencil and a coordinating die. You can use them separately or you can combine them together like so. It looks magical, but it also looks beautiful uh, individually. You know, you, could, you got options. Okay, now we have three of these foil and cut die sets. This first one's called Sketched Garden Flower. And I'll show you what comes in it. So you get the foil plate, the hot foil plate, and the coordinating die in each one of these. And of course I foiled them up and die cut them up. And let me tell you, sometimes I struggle with foiling, but I have never struggled with these particular ones. I don't know what it is, but they foil, they foil like butter. And then this one is called the sketched rose and they foil beautiful on solid color cardstock too. So I did this one on pink. The previous one I did it on green and then this last one which is called sketched rose blossom and leaves and I did this one on a light aqua cardstock with silver foil very fancy schmancy with the foil okay we have one embossing folder in this release it's called geometric lattice and I emboss this and I mean look at this such a showstopper. The texture is outrageous, even if you do the backside. It's just equally as beautiful, front or back, either way you go. We have a three new Kathy Zilski dies in this release. This first one is called Trio of Love. Smaller little XOXO, moi, and swack, sealed with a kiss. Love that. You could even put those on the back of an envelope. And then this one is the Love You. I love this bold, chunky font with the shadow backer. Just clean, classic Kathy Zilski style. And then lastly, I didn't have the packaging for this one, but it's the Chunky Heart Trio. And this is what she looks like in all her glory. Just a beautiful Chunky Heart Trio. Okay, next we have a couple of stencil designs in this release. This first one is called Peonies and Leaves. And this is a very large stencil. I think this would work on a 12 by 12 piece of paper if you're a scrapbooker. But if you want to do it on a card size, you can move the stencil around and orientate it in different ways on your project. Next up is the polka hearts. You get two stencils. One is orientated horizontally and the other is vertically. So you can do a background of hearts or polka dots, uh, whichever way you want to orientate it. Okay, a couple of new sentiment strips in this release. And this first one is called Reverse the Best Friends. So you get four uh, in each pack. Now this is just the best friends, which is the exact same as the reverse, just black on white. Uh, I love to use the white on black, but some people like the black on white, whichever one you go, you know. And then we have the reverse sun and moon. And now these ones, I noticed that two of the sheets are the same and the other two of the sheets have different sentiments. So they're not all four identical. You get a lot more sentiment options. And then you have the sun and moon, which is the same, just black on white. Love to use this with the sentiment label dies. And then we have a new set of Susie Doodle's watercolor cards. These ones are called Valentine Love. And these are printed on watercolor cardstock. So they work with a variety of mediums, watercolors, Zig Clean color markers, Copics, crayons, colored pencils. My kids love them. Make a great Valentine gift. Wrap it up with some chocolate, couple markers, bada boom, bada bing. And then we have two new sequin mixes in this release. And they're like Valentine's-y. This first one is Sweetheart Sequins with the pink and gold and iridescent and then we have cupid's kiss so we've got some red some white some clear and then now here's the last part the glass board the showstopper of it all she's hefty she has some rubber feet on the back um, i'll show you the thickness of it like so uh, a lot of things you can do on this now it, it's glass so it's great for cleanup you do a like a medium like paste or blending cleans off like a dream you've got the um, registration marks like the grid marks for four and a quarter by five and a half and it's magnetic 
so you can hold down your projects no more taping it up all over the place just a handy dandy little work surface with the Simon Says Stamp logo on the bottom and that is everything from this to the moon release before we go I wanted to just quick share a couple projects that I've created uh, I use the Kathy Zilski trio of hearts and then I use the Chunky Love You with a couple of those cute little bird layered dies. Make sure and check out the Simus' Stamp blog for more inspiration and information. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.